Hi, this is Dr. Lubna, uh, obstetrician and gynecologist from Aster Women's Health Clinic, Algisays, Dubai. Uh, today, I am here to speak about uh, the third trimester of pregnancy. As we all know, pregnancy is divided into three stages, first trimester, second and the third trimester. Third trimester starts from once you enter the 28 weeks of pregnancy. Um, 28 weeks or seventh month of pregnancy as we say so the pregnancy starts uh, the third trimester starts from 28 and uh, ends by 40 weeks of pregnancy but uh, in reality it ends once you give birth that's around it could be 41 weeks or 42 weeks as well so from 28 weeks till the time you give birth that's the entire third trimester what are the things that we need to know about the third trimester of pregnancy now once you enter third trimester your prenatal and antenatal checkup uh, schedule will be changed so uh, you have your checkups uh, every two weeks uh, in the third trimester and then it becomes every week at 36 weeks um, and sometimes it can get more frequent depending on your medical condition and also depending on the fetal growth and development also sometimes we may call you for more visits um, and after 38 weeks, you can expect a pelvic examination and cervical examination uh, to see the preparedness of your cervix for labor. Now, what do we do with this prenatal visits? And during the prenatal visits, every time you come in for your prenatal visit, you have um, you you will be asked for any fresh complaints, any queries, uh, any symptoms that is troubling you. And we obviously start from checking your weight, check your blood pressure. Now we want to rule out if you have any condition which is leading to uh, pregnancy-induced hypertension and so on. We will be asked about your fetal moment chart during this trimester. We will tell you how to monitor your fetal moment and how you should record your fetal moment and when to report to us if you don't have adequate fetal moments. During the third trimester, uh, we do the screening. We take this opportunity to screen you for gestational diabetes. We screen for iron deficiency, anemia, and also we screen for a GBS screening. That is group B streptococcal infection. We screen you for that. So that in case you have uh, GBS, we give you antibiotics in labor or prior to labor. Now, uh, these are the basic things. And also we, we, we take this opportunity to discuss about the labor events, uh, delivery plans, labor and delivery plans, and also about the labor analgesia. And at the end of 38 weeks, as I said, as I mentioned, we may do a pelvic examination or uh, pelvic or vaginal examination to see if your cervix is uh, soft and well prepared for the labor to begin. And then uh, what do we have to expect? What do the mothers have to expect during the third trimester? During this time, uh, because of the number of pregnancy changes that's happening, and since the baby is growing rapidly in terms of growth and development, there would be so many changes that the mother will experience. She will feel increasingly uncomfortable during this phase. She may experience a lot of aches and pains. She may have a bad a backache. Most of them complain of shortness of breath, uh, difficulty in breathing and uh, they may have leg uh, pain, backache, these kind of things are common, okay. The leg cramps are common in pregnancy. Some of the most important things that um, we should be aware of is you may see your leg, um, you know, you may have an edema or what do you say, swelling of the legs, face and hands. This is called as edema because of the fluid retention. So you may, feel, you may see all these things. Your blood pressure could drop during this time because of the growing uh, uterus compressing over the large blood vessel. So because of this, there could be a drop in blood pressure as well. Uh, some women experience varicose veins on the legs or on the limbs and uh, there could be increasing uh, problems of like indigestion, heartburn, constipation okay and all these things uh, are also quite normal sometimes uh, women can experience some uh, little milky discharge from the breast and this initial discharge is called as a colostrum and they can also experience increasing uh, liquidity discharge from the vagina which is also called as a leucoria okay and uh, most of them um, Apart from aches and pains and discomfort, they also complain of increased pigmentation of the skin which could be over the face and the neck. Women can feel uh, hot uh, more than others because of the increase in the hormone stimulation. Some of them can also have uh, increased hair growth uh, which is like coarse hair growth over the um, limbs or face or hands and this is also because of the hormonal stimulation. Okay. And uh, as I mentioned, um, 
uh, all this all these things could be normal in the third trimester and more so towards the end of the pregnancy you could also start feeling some painless contractions which are called as Braxton Hicks contractions and then it also can uh, lead to false labor pains later on you can have real contractions and they are false labor which will then be converted into true labor towards the end of the pregnancy so these are the things that a mother can expect uh, during the third trimester which is uh, considered normal now what are the changes that uh, would you expect in the fetus at this time the fetus is growing rapidly in terms of growth and weight and uh, maturity also at this stage the lungs are getting matured and the maturity of the lung completes by about 38 weeks the kidneys are also getting matured brain is continuously developing at this point the baby can see and hear as well the baby can suck its own thumb uh, thumb and also cry and after certain time after 36 weeks you could also expect the baby will sink into the pelvis uh, which is also called appreciated in the mother as lightning at the end of the pregnancy at the end of the third trimester we could expect a baby which is around 48 to 50 centimeters in length and about 2.5 to 4 kg in weight uh, so this is the entire journey in the third trimester and uh, there's a few things that I have, not I have told you about. Uh, for more details, you can always get in touch with me. I'm Dr. Lubna from Aster Women's Health Clinic, uh, Damascus Street, Elgisays. Thank you.